We call it wave mocha may because it is a decorative metal. It is not a metal that would be suitable to make a blade out of. However, what makes it so distinct is that we've combined an odd yellow stainless is actually what it's called with pure copper with pure iron. Three alloys that have never been put together in any form I've ever seen. What happens is when you finish that patterned combination of metals and then subject it to heat, the iron actually reacts to the heat by coloring. You can get straw color, you can get brown, you can get blue, you can get purple. And that plays against the orange red of the copper and the relative white yellow of that stainless steel. So what you see is this emerging extraordinary pattern of texture and color and contrast. And it really comes from our imagining these alloys combined and then patterned in a way that had never been done before.